You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob, and this video, we're gonna do a little bit, I don't wanna say a let's play, it's not really gonna be a let's play, oops. Uh, it's more gonna be just kind of showing you this game, because the only thing that's available right now is playing it with somebody here with me with a controller, and even if I had somebody here with me, they wouldn't have a controller, because I only have one. So, but uh, if nothing else, um, I'm gonna just pop on the characters themselves, and just kind of show them to you. But, uh, so this is Colossal Kaiju Combat. Uh, this is the game that was discussed during an interview Saturday night with uh, Simon Strange. And uh, so let's take a look. First, we're going to take a look at Giga Shark. And um, there's only one Giga stage Shark. at the moment. This is obviously just Alpha. Monster so fight. there's really not much you can do. Now, the camera angle does change when you're playing somebody else. But if you're just running solo like me, this is what you see. So then. This is him running around, and then you got all these little crazy moves and stuff like that. Uh, you know, design design's pretty good. Uh, looks like a hammerhead shark mutated into a kaiju. Uh, obviously, some of the particles for the effects. Like right now, he's supposed to be blowing breath, and you can see the part. See now the particle works, but there's some inst the instance before that it did not. And um, you know, this game right now is again it's in alpha. I can't sit here and really judge. It wouldn't be fair to judge this right now because it's just not complete. But for those who did pay for this, the five dollars, I mean that's that goes towards the production of this game. And uh, the game also is not just a game; it's actually a franchise. Colossal Kaiju Combat. We'll switch out of this and go take a look at a different monster. But yeah, this is Giga Shark. Um, the game itself is uh, not this colossal kaiju combat is the franchise as simon mentioned in his uh, interview and there will be games spun off of this Magnarok. and uh the first one that's supposed to come out is uh nemesis which uh simon says he believes may be probably sometime early 2015 and that's when we really have to uh judge the game at that point uh, obviously at that point we would expect it to be uh running smoothly we would expect it you know uh, to have more monsters, hopefully. So this here is Magnarok, and I like this design. This is actually pretty cool. In his back, he's got like a, like a face on his, on the back of his body, which I think is pretty neat. Um, and this is him running around. These are some of his moves. Uppercut there, and then uh, his particle attack. There's a little flame. So that's pretty, you know, not too bad. And again, it's not done. Obviously, right there, he ran out of power, so he shouldn't even be able to do this anymore. But, um, you know, yeah. So, again, needs work, needs to get finished. But, uh, if nothing else, hopefully, uh, early 2015, it'll be. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. Uh, hopefully, early 2015, we'll be able to see some more of this with, um, more monsters, more stages, uh,. You know more um, crisp fighting and uh, done particle effects and you know the power-ups not being able you know to continuously just blow breath like right here you know he just and once that meter goes down he should be able to stop but he continues so hopefully hopefully that all gets uh, that will all be fixed up maybe even sooner hopefully maybe even sooner maybe in a couple of months you know uh, they'll add more 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 uh, monsters and fix up some of the uh, fighting so the next one we'll look at is uh, well let's look at Komodo Don and this is this one is probably my least favorite out of the four uh, looks a little bit just too cute for me <laughs> but we'll take a look at it uh, you know this looks like a like a red uh, dinosaur type Dragon type monsters, but uh, so this is Komodo Don, and these are his little moves. And oh, look at that standing drop kick! <laughs> That's incredible. 
So, and then his particle attack. And uh, he's got, you know, the flame and all that. And once again, of course, once the meter's out, he's still shooting it. Now, one thing I haven't been able to figure out is if you see here under his uh, box, it says, it looks like a missile with a times two. I don't quite know what that is yet. Uh, when I checked this out before, I was kind of moving the buttons around to see if I can kind of ignite that. But, um, yeah, it just doesn't work that way. So, but, um, you know, if also if you hit, I didn't do this with the other two, but if you hit, uh, I think, depending on what kind of control you have, L1, uh, they do their roar. So that's pretty cool. So, like, if you want to taunt your enemy, so L1 would be to do that. Yeah, there you go. R2 and to the left and right with the analog stick to kind of jump around. Look at that, a body slam. So, there's definitely some moves in there. Hopefully, we can also get a. Uh, I'm not sure if they have it now. Yeah, no, they don't. Uh, and we'll, we'll switch to the last monster now. Uh, hopefully, they'll come out with like a move set list. Because I know, I've noticed that if you do certain combinations, you'll see different moves pop up. So, um, so this is Robo Komododon. This is the uh, robot version of the last monster. I, this is probably the one I like the most out of all of them. Um, I just, you know, kind of gives me uh, reminders of Mecha Godzilla. But uh, yeah, this one's pretty cool. And I've got the laser beams there. And let's see if he stops once. Uh, nope, he keeps going. So yeah, so he can keep going. Let's see his roar. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, he's got a little jetpack there. See, now I'm hoping that too, when it's done, that when he does a jump like that, you see like jet streams coming out of his back. I think that's probably what they'll do. Again, there's a lot of particle effects that I'm sure are not done. So, you know, it's just, uh, you know, it's an alpha phase. So, and a, a lot of games on Steam do this. Uh, for example, DayZ did this. They released their game in alpha, and uh, you know that's that's what I mean. So, you know, I know there's some people. I did notice the comments. Some people already had been playing this, and uh, some of you guys were not too pleased. But just keep in mind, this is alpha. We really can't. You can't judge really judge anything on alpha stage because it's just not done. Uh, I'd rather judge the game when it's complete. That's that's just to be fair. So hopefully by. Uh, Within the next couple of months, we'll see some improvements, and hopefully by the time Nemesis comes out, uh, we'll see some um, some other monsters, we'll see some finished particle effects, different stages, maybe some environmental, uh, you know, uh, effects, like if you hit a wall or hit a building, you see the particles flying and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, also keep in mind, too, uh, Simon Strange is primarily, probably doing most of the coding and things like that. Uh, even though he's familiar with the engine and he knows it inside and out, uh, you know, f for the most part, he seems to be a one-man show. I mean, when I asked him about his team, you know, he pretty much said that he hires people to do things that he doesn't, and when he doesn't need them anymore, then that's it. So, he's probably doing a good majority of a lot of these, uh, well, look at that. He's probably doing a good majority of, um, the programming, uh, maybe even the physics, on his own, but I'm not 100% sure. He didn't really elaborate too much on that. We obviously know that Matt Frank is doing some of the artwork, so, uh, but we'll see, we'll see. You know, from what I see here, I mean, these, these are the graphics you would expect, considering that a lot of the games he worked on for the Godzilla games were like PS2 and GameCube, and uh, I believe maybe even N64 as far back. And uh, so, uh, and since he's using the engine that made those games, then obviously uh, these are what the graphics are going to look like. So, but we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Hopefully, in the next couple of months, we can see Colossal Kaiju Combat uh, a little bit more complete. So that way, we can all enjoy it. Hopefully, they activate that uh, that one-player mode. So that way, I don't have to run around by myself <laughs> and just kind of like, wow, look at this. Such nice scenery. Look at, wow, look at that moon. It's beautiful. But, uh, but yeah, so if nothing else, uh, just want to thank you guys. Uh, thank Simon Strange once again for coming on to ETN. Really appreciate it and sharing your game. And I look forward to seeing it when it's complete. And uh, that's it. All right, guys, this is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy.
Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Nation Facebook page.